front line hasn't moved much for days now, but that doesn't make it any less dangerous. This is the safest way to get around here. Snipers have been picking off NTC soldiers every day. They have plenty of ammunition, just not much discipline when they use it. The Gaddafi sniper can keep a dozen NTC troops pinned down for hours. But the revolutionaries have their own sharpshooters. Patiently they wait on rooftops until they see movement and then the inevitable. Away from the fighting, the city is deserted, abandoned like the livestock which roam these once busy neighbourhoods. Almost every building is pockmarked with bullet holes, some are utterly destroyed. Sirt used to be a city of some 100,000 people, but now it's difficult to find just one. The handful that we have encountered have been here just to salvage a few more possessions from the wrecks of their homes, and all the while the fighting is continuing. It's why few have made the dangerous journey here to collect belongings. This man and his wife grab a carpet and some cushions to make their night in a tent more comfortable. They hurry as a NATO jet circles overhead. Others come to look at what remains of their homes. This man and his mother get what they can. He doesn't want to be interviewed but is beside himself with worry. He said he paid $20,000 for this apartment and now look at it. One man does talk anonymously. I am not with Gaddafi. I am not with the other side. I am a man of peace. It's clear these people are worried the National Transitional Council will view them as pro-Gaddafi simply because they haven't taken up arms. But outside we find a flyer from Gaddafi's regime warning residents to resist the sedition of the rebels for the safety of their families and children it sounds like a veiled threat. That all-pervasive fear was stoked to perfection by Muammar Gaddafi's regime for more than 42 years, and it still hangs in the air here, even though Gaddafi no longer rules these shattered streets. Dan Rivers, CNN, Search, Libya.